What's going on guys, Kazi here, and I'm back with another random Parkasaurus video for you guys today. Now, I noticed the other day that a brand new update had been made on the game, pushing us into alpha mode 0.6, and honestly, any update we get with this game, I'm super excited about. And it looks like we are finally getting first person mode with the Dino Wrangler update. So like I said, we are now in version 0.6, um, we're not anywhere near the final product of the game, but already this is a good sign. This game hasn't been on Steam for that long. We're already getting patch updates. They're already listening to the community. And I thought it would be kind of a cool idea for us to go through these patch updates together. And of course, I will show you some of the new things that have been added into the game as well. So one of my favorite parts about games like Zoo Tycoon is also one of my least favorite parts about games like Roller Coaster Tycoon. Uh, for example, in Zoo Tycoon 2, you kind of have this first-person mode where you get to go around your zoo, you get to feed your animals, fill everything up. You get to do the responsibilities of the zookeeper. Now, I'm not sure if they fix this later on with Roller Coaster Tycoon, but one thing that drove me crazy was that I wasn't able to go kind of explore my park. The, the most that they really added in my experience was in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, they added the ability for you to ride any of the rides in the park, which was pretty cool, but I'm kind of hands on. So believe me when I tell you I was a little bit disappointed that I wasn't able to do first person mode right away in this game. Now, like I said, it is in development, so any disappointment I have is obviously going to be short lived with this game. But they finally did it. They added the Dino Wrangler update version 0.6 and obviously... We're very far from the final product, but this just goes to show you that, you know, this game's only been in early access for about three, four days now, and they've already done an update based on what the community is saying. Hi, Dino friends. A quick thanks to all of the early supporters. We're hearing your feedback. Oh, me. That's me. And uh, we're fixing those bugs you guys are sending us in. If you're having a good time, be sure to tell your friends about us. Will do. Guys, check out Parkasaurus. It's a good game. All right, Dino Wrangler is in. Now you can pop into your park and explore in first person view. If you need to, you can even pull out your tranquilizer. Nice, and that's what I'd imagine this is here. That's pretty cool, I like it. Check it out and you'll find the dart icon in the bottom left of your screen. And that is that right there. That's pretty cool. I, actually, I didn't even realize that Dino's eight people. I haven't really had a lot of experience in my game yet with them getting out, so that's kind of cool. And we're definitely, obviously, going to have to let them out now, especially now that we can do something about it. Um, also, here are the patch notes since the release. So this is also what they've done. So it looks like version 0 0.6 is literally just the first-person mode. Um, they've done some other patches already. Nothing major, nothing major, but I don't think we're going to get into those too much. I mean... They've added some basic stuff like people not coming back to your park. I've experienced that glitch, but it has been resolved. Um, I like this. Dinos will try to eat people more. <laughs> I like that. So that's obviously this here. I haven't seen dinos try to eat people, but uh, that's definitely something I want to check out. All right, guys. So we've been kind of messing around on stream for a while here. So what I want to do to kind of end the stream is kind of test out this little dart gun mode that they've added here the dino wrangler mode we got little t-rexes over here they're having a good old time i figured we'd release a few of them see what happens and you know go from there so i think we're just gonna break one of these fences let them escape and um jump into the action hit that delete button and then watch as the panic settles in. All right. I don't even think they're fully grown. Let's see what, whoa, they're already busting up trees. Let's see what's going on here. I like this mode first off because I can keep up with the dinos. Oh my God, they're just destroying everything. Will they destroy fences from the outside? God, I don't know. They'll just destroy everything though. Oh my God, can I get killed? Benches are flying everywhere. Oh my god, this person's being eaten! Oh no! There's my security! Alright, where's our other dino? He decided, he's like, screw that, I'm going back in the enclosure. Oh, that's cool, you can just blast them. Blast them, blast them. Alright, that was, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool, I gotta admit. But I feel like it was too easy 
for me to handle. Oh, he's got to clean the bench up out of their exhibit first. That's so funny. Delete. All right. Oh my god, here they come. They're going for the escape. Oh my goodness, they're just killing everybody. Oh my goodness, I thought you'd be the behaved one. Oh my god, he's eating someone! What's the range like? Oh no, I... Oh god, this is not going well. Wait, what if... To counteract the dinosaur attack... We release their natural predators. This works in nature all the time, right? Drop it like it's hot. All right, here they come. Stuff is just flying around. Oh my goodness, they're in the food court. They got to the food court. Oh my god, no. This is just insanity. Where are you going? Did your eyes just glow red there for a second? Oh my god, people are on fire. I'll put you out of your misery. Oh my god. Alright, you're down. You're down. Oh, I love this mode. This is super cool. Oh my god, this fence is on fire. Does that mean... Okay, the fence didn't break. Alright. We still got some dinos on the loose. What's the range like? The range is not very good on the gun. But it is fun as all hell to run around. Dude, he's just going. I want full and complete destruction. I don't want my people to handle it. I don't want them to think that they got it under control. I need them to need me. We're going to release all the animals, even our little Rexies. And we're probably going to follow our Rexies, to be honest with you. Let's get down on the ground. Oh my god, no, the T-Rexes have escaped from the paddock. Watch out. Oh, he just wants his picture taken. Oh! Janet was a good employee. I, I don't know what just happened to her. Alright, you get... Whoa! Stuff's just flying around. I just love this. Oh god, you... Oh my god, there's a rampage. Oh my god, the Stegos are out. Oh my god, they're setting everyone on fire. Oh my god, it's Ethan and Hila. Oh my goodness, guys, get... I don't want to do this to you, Ethan. I don't want to. Okay, where's Hila? Hila, I'm, Hila, I'm coming. You're going down. Alright, we got some baby Rexes around. Hopefully they don't eat Ethan and Hila. Drop them. Drop them. Alright. We still got some dinos on the loose here. All right. Is that all of them? Did we get them all? Let's go. There's just devastation everywhere. God damn. You'll be okay, Ethan. <laughs> this gun is so cool, and I love... The style of animation that the muzzle flare makes, this game is really coming together. And I mean, you can really see the carnage that you can unfold. And also, I will note, where you cannot shoot your employees, you can, in fact, shoot the heck out of your guests. <laughs> and sometimes they turn into banana peels, I noticed. Oh, you're an employee. You're not even working. Alright. They need to make it so you can shoot balloons. That's gotta be crucial. I think this is a job well done. I think I would excel as a dinosaur wrangler. If anything, I've really just done a job application. This is a state-of-the-art simulation. The night sky is beautiful. Man, I really like this first person mode that they added. And yes, you do get the tranquilizer, but there is also just a regular zoo viewing mode. Right now, you can kind of walk through everything, but I really do like this setting. And what's uh, kind of cool... Oh my god, no. Can I swim? No, it does not look like you can swim yet. 
No, there is no swimming yet. There's poop in here, but there's no swimming yet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, yes, it does have a few bugs. Oh, shit. Get down. Use this other one for cover. But it is extremely fun. You cannot shoot them through the fences. Which is an important thing to note. But I think everything else is fair game. How do we get out of here? Alright. Well, almost fell in the water again. We'll let these guys run off into the sunset. This is where we're going to end the stream, I think. Sorry. Sorry about your luck that we didn't end it sooner. Oh! Fall asleep with a, a little snack in your arms, buddy. Well, this game is officially one of my all-time favorite simulator games. And I'm really loving the new update. I love the first-person mode update. I can really see these dinosaurs eating people firsthand. This is a whole lot of fun. So, guys, tune in on Twitch. Thank you so much for watching live. Make sure you hit that follow button if you enjoyed the live stream. And if you guys are watching this on YouTube, of course, there's going to be an outro. All right, guys, I think that's where we're going to wrap up this video. It was kind of cool running around with the tranquilizer gun. And honestly, first person mode is a fantastic way to make you feel that much more engaged in your park. It makes you... It makes you care more about the dinosaurs and the guests and everything coming in. So I'm excited to see what other cool things they'll add into first person. Um, but I do have a question for you guys. As this game is in early development, what is one thing right now? I mean, there's lots of things that can still be added in, of course. But what would you like added in this game most over anything right now? I think that for me, I'm most looking forward to the addition of breeding i think breeding will be really cool especially if they kind of allow some customization with that i mean a great thought that i've had is similar to arc where if uh you know arc survival where if you have you know animals with different color palettes you can breed them and they'll swap palettes you'll get palettes you can't find naturally so i think that would be kind of cool if you added a breeding mechanic where you can get different colored triceratopses that you wouldn't be able to get just from, you know, the eggs. So maybe that's something that could be uh, really cool. But I don't want to get ahead of myself here. I'm happy with the tranquilizer. I'm happy with how all this looks. Make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, of course. And leave a comment down below with your answer. And hit that subscribe button for, obviously, more Parkasaurus content. And really any other gaming content if you enjoyed the video. Uh, also, check out, check me out on Twitch. I mean, Causey Games check it out you can't miss it we're a good time we're gonna be playing parkasaurus we play a bunch of other random stuff so guys check that stuff out as well and until next time until next time my name's kazi aka martin aka never late for lunch and thank you guys for tuning in and i will see you later peace out can i walk through this gate is this allowed do i push a button i'll just follow you in i guess Oh, I can just walk through it, but I can't walk through the fences. I can walk through the doors, though. Uh, with some finesse in. Alright. This, this is, like, kind of cruel. Oh, no! It ran away into the bush. Where are you, you sneaky little devil sore, you? Aha! Oh, my goodness. This thing just drops, fools. Does it work on people? Okay. This is my request to the developers of Parkasaur. I felt kind of bad shooting my dinosaur at such a close range. And I feel like this gun should work on my employees as well. Because if I can like put my dinosaurs in line, I mean in Roller Coaster Tycoon you can discipline your employees. I want to be able to discipline... How long is he going to be out? Will he just be out for time? <laughs>